So Android P beta version is practically here and Google has added tons of new features to this operating system. However, the features Google talked during the Google I.O. session aren't actually there in the second Android P preview. Basically, there are tons of new features which are coming soon with the next Android P preview. And media was allowed to take a sneak peek of feature complete version of Android P inside Google's sandbox demo space. So first off, we have the Android dashboard which will provide you the statistics like how many times the phone was unlocked, which applications you use the most and how many notifications were received within the past day. There we have the ring chart which shows you a list of frequently used applications and Android dashboard will not only show you the statistics but will also allow you to set the alert timers for the application to change your usual smartphone behaviors. Like for example, I want to use Facebook one hour daily so I can set a timer that will alert me whenever I will use that application more than one hour. I will explain you in details whenever I will receive that feature, most likely with the third Android P preview. And next major feature is coming really soon and for all the devices. YouTube will let you schedule customized breaks and that means you can set a timer like after a few minutes or after a few hours, YouTube will notify you to take a break and that is going to reduce eye strains. Next feature is the wind down mode which will turn your smartphone to black and white basically monochrome. Google says that this will help you to fight the urge to use the smartphone when you should be actually sleeping. And this mode also turns on the do not disturb mode so really a great feature. The next feature I think at this point you all know is Google Duplex. Google Assistant will help you make reservations, schedule appointments. All you have to do is just provide the date and time and your assistant will call the businesses in human voice to coordinate for you. And this feature will be available really soon, of course for all Android smartphone, but I think the Android P beta will get it first. So these are all the confirmed features coming along with next Android P preview. There are also a few leaked features that might arrive with third Android P preview. I've already made a video on that. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and peace out.